In this video, I'm going to explain how you can add your own keyboard buttons onto the on-screen keyboard and also how you can actually create your own keyboard from scratch if you wish. So, what we have here is a photo capture event and I've set it to allow you to send the photo by email. Now, if we look at the email address screen, you can see that I've added the standard keyboard and that's automatically added by Rightbooth when you create an event. I've slightly altered the colour scheme on it, so if we look here we've got black text on white buttons. Now, some of you have asked me in the past, is it possible to add different buttons on here? So for instance, at gmail.com might be a good button to have, or at aol.com. So, the first thing I'm going to do here is to show you how you can add extra buttons onto this existing keyboard. Now you have to have right booth version 7.9.8 or later to allow these extra features to happen. So the first thing to do is to add a label and here we are. And as you can see the font isn't the right font. If we look at the font for the keyboard, we've got Arial. So I'm going to change this one to Arial. Now, I'm going to change the contents here. I'm going to put at gmail.com. Now, the next thing to do is to try and make this look like one of these buttons. So, first thing to do is to give it a background. You can see the background's the wrong colour, the text is the wrong colour. So let's change the text colour to black. And I'm going to change the background colour to white. Starting to look a bit better. You can see that the font size is too big. If you look at the font size on this keyboard, it's 18. So let's set this one to 18. Now, this font size is too small. The reason for that is because the keyboard has been scaled up to 1.4. But the scale on the label item is only one. So I'm going to increase this to match the scale of the keyboard, 1.4. Now you can see that the font size is the same. We've got the same shadowing. I'm going to make the button the same height as the other ones. And that's about right. Let's just make it smaller. So the only thing missing now is the corners need rounding. So let's just add some rounding to the corners. Eight looks about right. So now we have a label item that looks like one of the keyboard buttons. But it's not going to do anything just yet. If you tried to play this event and click this label, it wouldn't do anything. So we need to give it an action. And it's a new action in version 7.9.8 or later. And the action is type contents. So what that will do is that when you play the event and you start typing on the keyboard, if you, if you touch this label item, it will type the contents at gmail.com into the email address text box. Now, once you've got one label item, you can make copies of it. That's the easiest way to create more buttons. So copy the item, paste it in. Let's move it across here and just edit the contents. Let's have another one. So as you can see, it's quite easy to create your own buttons. Once you've got one that looks like the keyboard, you can then copy and paste others and simply change the contents of the label item. So let's try and use this. Play the event, take a photo, here's my helper, 
I'm going to choose email and I'm going to send it to Nigel and I just have to touch this button at gmail.com send email now you may want to have a button on here to clear off the contents I can do that at the moment by just backspacing here but you might want to use one button that takes the whole lot out so let me show you how to do that I'm going to escape out of this back into the editor let me take another copy of this button copy paste let's put it here now double click I'm going to type clear in here now if I were to leave it like that if I touch this button it would enter clear into this text box I don't want to do that so what I want to do is change the action on this button to be key press now let me take a look at the action parameters that you can add onto the key press action right booth lets you add up to four keys that you will press now if you think about how you would actually clear the contents of a text box using the keyboard the way to do it is to hit the home key that will send the text cursor to the beginning of the box then you would press the shift key on the keyboard and press the end key that would highlight all of the text and then you would press the back key so we can simulate that with these four keys here so what we need to do is select home that sends the text cursor to the start of the text box then we want the shift key then we want to press the end key and finally we want to press the back key so what this is allowing us to do is to press keys on the keyboard home shift end back so let's try that play the event again So let's just type some characters in here and I'm going to choose at yahoo.com now watch what happens when I click the clear button it clears the whole box off so that's quite useful so I'm now going to explain how you can have your own completely customized keyboard so the way to do that is to remove the right booth keyboard from this screen so select it and delete it we're now left with just these four buttons so I'm going to make a copy of that button paste it back in I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to change the contents A so again this has got the action type contents so that would actually type the letter a into this text box so what i need to do now is to make some copies of this so let me just right click and select create more labels and here i'm just going to put all the other letters in on separate lines hit the ok button and we've now got all the other letters you then have to rearrange all these it's a little bit tedious but stay with me we need the numbers and the decimal point and maybe dot com
maybe the underscore. And the hyphen. So I hope you can see the idea here. Now I'm going to rearrange all these and cut to the finished product. Okay, as you can see, I've now got all my keys created. This one's interesting. Let me have a look at the properties. That is a key press action with the back key in it. I've still got this one here, which is home, shift, end, back. And obviously I've got my three specific ones here. So you probably don't need much more than that. We've got the underscore, the dot, the dot com and the hyphen. Now, these are still all separate keys. You can move them around, put them wherever you like. You might want to group them all together. Let's do that. So drag the marquee select around all of them. Now they're all selected. If you right click on one, there's a new feature in version 7.9.8 or later, which is group the items. Let's do that. Now, when you move one, you move them all. They all act as one thing. Also, interestingly, you can use the grouping feature to change the properties of everything. So once they're all grouped, if you look at properties, you might want to have, say, blue text And you can see that it changes all of it. Or we might go for no background and maybe with a border. Um, let's increase the border size. Sorry, let's, de let's decrease the border size. Make the border the same color. Actually, that's a bit garish. Let's make that yellow. Let's make the text yellow. That looks a bit better. Let's make the border slightly smaller. Another thing we can do is we can make these label items highlight. Again, this is a new feature. So we turn on the highlighter and it will highlight to this color. So as you can see, as I move the mouse over the top of them all, they're highlighting. Right, the last thing we can do, which again is new, is we can save all this. So if you want to save this keyboard, you just make sure it's selected, hit the save button, click save items to file, and we'll call this the email UK keyboard. So we've now saved that group of items as a keyboard layout and you can use that in other events that you create. So for instance, let me just delete this. Let's assume that you've created a new event and you want to add that keyboard back onto this screen. Just come to the email address screen, load items from a file, and you can see that it's here. Select it, click OK, and right booth adds that item group back onto the screen. So that will be quite useful for you to create lots of different keyboards if you wish. So for instance, if you need different characters that are not on the current keyboard, like maybe Russian characters or Portuguese characters, you can supplement the existing keyboard or you can create your own completely new keyboard from scratch and save it into the library so that you can use them and reuse them in different event files. So I hope you find all that useful and thanks for watching.